Well, good morning. Hope you're doing good. We're here with Hope. Hope, how you doing? Good. Yeah? You having a good, uh, good day so far? Yeah. What are you working on right now? Packing my stuff for, like, we're going to camp. Yeah? It's pretty fun, so. When are we going to camp? In a couple of days. But... A couple of days? Yeah. Probably more like a couple of weeks. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. The name is Family Camp, and it's pretty funny. It's been pretty fun. Really pretty funny. Fun. fun. It's pretty fun. I agree. I'll agree with that. Morning, Miss Susan, Amy, uh, Suzanne, and Tony, Steve, Kathy. Days. Glad y'all are here. Hope you're doing well. Hope y'all are doing well. Hey, um, do you want to pray this morning? Mm -hmm. You just want to, you just want to look. Jesus, thank you for our food. Please help me out with the day today. Please help everyone just have a great day. Please help. We have a great lunch today. Amen. And I hope you have a great lunch, too. Oh, you have to get something? Okay. Show everybody your baby doll in a little bit. Yep. Let's see. I'm going to set this up. All right. All right. That's probably better. Hey, want to... Uh, sorry, I'm trying, I'm trying to get situated up here. Playing with Hope this morning. And this is my Barbie bag. All right, so we're going to move Barbie just a little bit. Um, and let's see here. <clears throat> hey, so two verses I want to share this morning. Um, <laughs> thanks, Melissa. I'll let her know. You're praying for a great lunch, too. Uh, two, two verses. And uh, and this has to do with just some, some verses to memorize. These are uh, a couple of verses. I put them in the description. And, uh, and it really has to do with who we are in Christ, our new identity in Christ. And so I wanted to just start giving you guys some verses to memorize as you're thinking about uh, your walk with Christ, your faith. What's up, Judah? Good. I'm packing my bags. What are you packing for? Kink Hawaii. Kink Hawaii. Here, don't, so don't press all the things right now. Okay. Uh, come on, phone. You can do it. There we go. It's okay. It's okay. Just wave. Just actually wave at them. No, I'm that's, not. That's, I'm going to give them a real wave. No, that is a real wave. I did that. That's great. That's I great. just missed that wave. It's okay. You can wave. You can use your hand and wave. You don't have to push the button. No, this is not a real wave. That's a real wave. <laughs> I want to wave them on the floor. I know, but then it all gets, I don't know how to work this well enough. Because then it, if we lose them and all the stuff happens. And it's bad. Uh, so, anyway... <laughs> Um, so I got two verses on read this morning. <laughs> Are you okay? Is Buddy, it... you alright? <laughs> <laughs> um, the first one is 2 Corinthians uh, 5.17. I want you to say this with me, okay? <clears throat> say, therefore... Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, in Christ, he's a new creation. He's a new creation. The old is gone. The old is gone. The new has come. The new has come. Or behold, all things are new, depending on what translation you're in. And then uh, Galatians two twenty, it says this. It says it says I have been crucified, buddy. <laughs> this is real. I know, man, you guys are really uh, encouraged this morning. Um, let me read this, Galatians 2.20. Paul writes this, he says... Uh, Daddy, can I get on your turtles? Not right now, not right now. Um, I get on your turtles in the video. But you won't be in the video, you'll be out, outside the video. Yeah, but I want my head to be sticking out and my legs to be in. Okay, let me read this. You want to read it with me? Mm -hmm. Okay, Paul says, I've been crucified with Christ. I've been crucified with Christ. 
Christ. And I no longer live. And I no longer live. But Christ lives in me. But Christ lives in me. And you'll be on a spike in me oh, like sorry. the book of Owens. That, that part's not actually in there. Um, the life I now live in the body, I live by faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. Um, and Finally. We, okay, here we go. Here we go. All right, that's good. That's Hi. Good. See, you're out now. Dad, yeah. this is a verse too. That is a verse. Um, hey, so these two verses today, um, these have to do with, with Christ being the center of your life. It has to do with who you are in Christ. And, uh, and, and I just want to challenge you, I man, as you're in this time, uh, home today, this week, that, uh, that you would memorize some scripture. And, and these are two verses to memorize that are great that have to do with uh, who you are in Christ. They're great verses to remind yourself of. Um, you need a haircut. You're right. Of your identity Good in job. Christ, your identity as a believer. That you're a new creation. The old things have gone, new things have come. Um, that you've been crucified with Christ, and, um, and and you live by faith now. And I think that's something. A lot of times, it's hard to remember. Uh, but man, it's a great thing to know. Man, I have been crucified with Christ. I no longer live, but Christ lives in me. The life I live now, I live by faith in the Son of God who loved me and He gave Himself for me. Have you brushed your teeth? Um, no. Okay. Um, can I pick go brush. My bags for, oh my. All right. Good brush. Can I, can I pick my bags? Can yeah, I after you brush your teeth. Uh, this is the battle we face daily, right here. Uh, this is true. This is true. There, there's no bloodshed. That's good. Uh, <clears throat> hey, so, so this, this morning, and this week, let me just challenge you to put those verses. Um, into memory, commit them to memory. Second Corinthians five seventeen, Galatians two twenty, that I'm a new creation, uh, and and I've been crucified with Christ. I no longer live; Christ lives in me. This life I live, I live by faith in the Son of God who loved me, gave Himself up for me, um, and commit those. Let those be a reminder of who you are in Christ. Uh, let those be something that you teach your kids who they are in Christ that um, you remind yourself when you're discouraged not to, to walk by faith, when you're discouraged to, to walk by sight, to be concerned, to be anxious for something, to be worried, uh, that you remind yourself, you know, I've been crucified with Christ, and, and it's my old life, right? I, I've, I've crucified, I've nailed to the cross my, my old life, my life of the flesh. I no longer live. Christ lives in me. And, uh, and, and a lot of times we live as though we're not in Christ. Can you help us with this? And we, we've got to be reminded. No, just use the other bottle. Use the but other. we don't know where it it's is. It's in there. you got to find it. You can do it. Problem solved. Um, believe it or not, I just lost my train of thought. <laughs> but, uh, but let me just challenge this more. Hey, memorize that. That's a great, those two verses talking about Christ being the center of your life, who you are in Christ, your identity in him. Um, don't forget those things. Don't forget who you are. Uh, don't let the circumstances rob you of your joy. Um, walk by faith, not by sight today. And the way we do that, Psalm 119, 9 and 11 talks about hiding God's word in our heart. It says, I've hidden my, I've hidden your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. And, um, and that word to hide means to treasure. It means to, to store it away. And so store these words away so that when you're worried to be anxious, when you're tempted to be anxious, to be worried, to to uh, to struggle, to to be discouraged, you will um, you remember. No, I've I've crucified that. I've nailed that to the cross. My my flesh, my worry, my anxiety, my anger, my bitterness. Uh, my discouragement, I'm, I'm now walking by faith. I live by faith. Christ lives in me. And, um, and just walk in those truths today. Uh, I think those will, those will change you uh, as you walk through your life. You're a new creation. Amen. All right. 
I'm, I'm going to sign off and I'm probably going to disappoint my kids. But let me pray for you guys uh, today. Father, I do just lift up those listening right now. I pray that you would remind us that we are a new creation in Christ, that we have been crucified with you, Lord, that we've identified with your sacrifice uh, because our old life has indeed been nailed to the cross. You've given us a new life. And uh, help us to walk in that today. Help us to put you at the center of our life, the center of everything we do, not just first in, in the morning, but first in everything, in every activity, every thought, every uh, pursuit, Lord, that you would be first, that we would walk by faith, that we would walk in a way that pleases and, and honors you in Jesus' name. Amen. Scott Briggs, what's up, brother? Good to see y'all. Hope you have a great Thursday and um, and just enjoy. If y'all need anything, let me know. This weekend, Sunday, we're having drive-in church Sunday morning if you're in Hot Springs at the mall, J.C. Penney. Uh, Steve, please bring over some toothpaste and uh, that'd be great. But, but kids' toothpaste, it's going to be fun. Um, drive-in church, 10 o'clock this Sunday. It's Mother's Day. Fellas, get yourself something um, for your mom. And uh, don't forget about her. If you, if you mail her a letter today, there's a good chance it'll get there by Mother's Day. So today's the day. Mail that letter to your mom. All right, that's your PSA for today. See ya.